another breathing technique that will help you on the days that you're just not feeling very good. Maybe you're feeling really mad or anxious, ooh, nervous, ooh, and you're just having trouble calming down. Well, I thought since we are outside having a picnic, a lot of times if you just stop and kind of look around, you'll see different animals. Like right now, let's see, I got my binoculars out. I can see birds flying around. Maybe some rabbits hopping through the grass. Or a big old bumblebee buzzing around a flower. And that's what I'm gonna teach you, the bumblebee breathing. This is one of my all time favorites. What you need to do is sit up nice and tall. And then we're gonna make our hands like letter L's. And we're going to put them right here on that little flap in your ear. All right. And then you want your elbows up. And then when we're ready to do this, we're going to cover our eyes with our hands like that so we can really hear our buzzing bee. All right. So you're going to first breathe in, take a big breath in through your nose. And then we're going to hum like a bee. Ready? Hum. All right. So let's try all of it together. Thumbs on your ear flaps, cover your eyes. And ready? We're going to breathe in. And out. talked about having a picnic I thought it would be fun to do our picnic yoga pose well, what's that let me show you so I need you to stretch your legs out nice and long in front of you and I need you to sit up nice and tall and this is going to be our picnic basket all right arms out wide and we need to fill our picnic basket with the food so let's twist our body and let's get our sandwiches. All right, bring your sandwiches over. And now let's wrap up our sandwiches. Ready? Wrap, 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 wrap. Okay, let's put it in the basket. All right, and then come back up and let's let's twist the other way and let's get some fruit. All right, let's see. I got yummy bananas and strawberries and oranges. Mm. All right, let's plop them into our picnic basket. Ready? Plop, 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 plop. All right, arms back out. And we need a drink to go with our food, right? So let's twist back the other way. Get our drink. 
We got a big jug of lemonade. Mm. All right, let's make sure the top is twisted on. Oh, good, we don't want it to spill. And let's put that in our basket. Okay, so now we need to close our basket up. So let's bend our knees and have our toes pointing to the sky, arms up over your head, and let's close our picnic basket. Ready? Close. All right. So now we got our food packed and ready for our picnic. Now, our next pose, do you remember in the story when Goose, she got in her boat to go across the pond? Well, we're going to learn how to do the boat pose. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to first pick up one leg and then we're gonna pick up another leg. Oh my goodness, this uses your belly muscles and then one arm up and then the other ah, and hold it. All right, so now I'm gonna go get my bag of stuff and we are going to make a craft that has something to do with a picnic. I'll be right back. Today, I'm going to show you what you're going to need in order to make our picnic picture. So first off, you're going to need a piece of paper. Then, you're going to need a pair of scissors, some glue, some paint, a paintbrush, a marker, a pencil that has a brand new eraser on it, and some grocery ads or maybe some old magazines that have pictures of food in it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is some paint and a paintbrush. Now, I went ahead and did this step. That way my paint was dry so I could continue with the instructions. So I used red, but you can use whatever color you have or you like. This is going to be our picnic blanket, like the one I'm sitting on. You're going to take your paintbrush and I made lines. So I did big line down, okay, and then a big line across. But you don't have to make your blanket like mine. You could do circles or polka dots. You could do whatever kind of shapes you would like. Now, you'll want to let this dry. That way your paint doesn't get all smeared. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is look for some food pictures. Now, I have some grocery ads, and I'm going to use my scissors and cut out some food pictures. Now, do you guys remember how we practice using our scissors? You want to put your thumb in the little hole, and then your three big guys in the big hole here, right? And then you want to make sure that your thumb is always pointed up. And then I found a picture of a watermelon and I'm going to cut that out to put on my picture here. All right, so let's go ahead and cut that out. All right, so you want to open and close. And don't forget, use your helper hand.
All right, nice cutting. Okay, now you're gonna take your glue stick and go ahead, open it up. Ugh. And let's put some glue on our food picture. All right, and then I went ahead and cut out a couple more pictures that I wanted to use. I have a hamburger, so I'm gonna put some glue on the hamburger picture. And then, oh, who doesn't like hot dogs at a picnic or a cookout? Let's put that on. All right, so there's our food. And you can put more food on if you'd like, all right? So, we have one more step. We're gonna add some ants to our picture because like they mentioned in our story, ants love food. See, I have a little bit of black paint and I know some of my friends really don't like getting their hands messy and that's okay. So, if you would rather not use your fingers, you could use a new pencil that has a brand new round eraser and you could dip it and then stamp, stamp, stamp onto your paper. And it would give you circles for your ant. But me, I like to get messy. So I'm going to use my finger and I am going to dip it into the black paint. And we want three circles. So, one, two, three. And then I think I'm gonna do another ant over here. One, two, three. Look at that. Three circles. It looks like an ant body. You want to add legs and antennas. One, two, three. One, two, three. And two antennas. One, two. Oh, that looks so cool. Uh-oh. Do you think they're going to try to get the food? Ah! So you don't want to leave your food out if you're having a picnic. All right, guys. That's all I have, but I hope you had a really good time. And remember, you want to make sure to continue to stay safe. And I will see you next time. Bye.